Oh, what's up, YouTube family and friends? I know I haven't posted a video in a, oh geez, I don't even know, a couple months or something. Well, you know, it's summertime. You know, you got to be out there riding. Riding your Armax. So I just got back from Michigan, ripping the old Armax. I got a quick little tip for you, and I know Massive Overkill posted this on his YouTube channel, but I want to show you how I'm doing things. The hood on this thing, it sometimes gets flappy here. So that's super annoying, and what it should be is nice and tight. So Yamaha, in their infinite wisdom, decided to use these like tabs that are supposed to lock in here, and yeah, that doesn't work. I mean, they have screws that are on the back here, and that's great, but what's going to end up happening, if you're trailering this thing, wind's going to get under this this plate or um, this cover and it's gonna start working on it and it could break so what I figured out is a method of kind of safety wiring them and I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick yeah so the mic this is point one one five so seven sixty fourths or eighth inch would be fine so that's all you need and then just some wire this is just you know um, copper wire, uh, safety wire would work fine. So you, you want something that's not going to rust. So I'm going to take my vice grips and I'm going to grab it and I'm going to come down at the bottom right here and I'm going to drill a hole through the tab right to the underside of this. Okay. It's kind of like sewing. All right, so now I'm going to cut this. I'm going to tighten this up. Let go of the vice grips, and that is not going anywhere. Then we'll just we'll just trim this little excess off here. When we flip the hood over, Yeah. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, no wind is going to get under that. and It just it looks a million times better. So, yeah, so just a quick little tip. Won't take you that much time. And this is pretty beefy plastic. And I feel like wire is just going to be better than anything else because you can twist it down on there and it kind of provides more purchase. Just wanted to show you the finished product here. There's no gaps. And no air is going to get under that when you're trailering your R-Max. So, looks a hell of a lot better too. No flappy jappies in the, in the breeze. Anyways, uh, quick one for you. And thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having a great summer. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.